Welcome to this lesson on transistors, and this subject is industrial electronics N3. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thank you. In this lesson on transistors, there are some concepts we're going to cover. Transistors are the most important electronic devices available today. Transistors are made up of three pieces of semiconducting material. The N-type semiconductor has an excess of electrons. The P-type semiconductor has a shortage of electrons. The three connections are called the base, emitter, and collector. By controlling a small amount of current through the base, we are able to control a larger current from the collector. A transistor behaves in the same way that the handle on this tap controls the water flow. When the handle is fully closed and no water flows, this would be considered to be the cutoff region for transistors. As we start to open the tap and water starts to flow, this is known as the linear region for transistors. Current flow through the collector and emitter is proportional to the base current in the linear region. In other words, the collector current is linearly proportional to the base current. Once the tap is fully open and water flow is at maximum, this is referred to as the saturation region in transistors. Saturation region occurs when the collector current is at maximum, regardless of the size of the base current. In other words, for the saturation region, collector current flowing to the emitter is independent of the base current during saturation. No current can flow from the collector to the emitter unless a small current is injected into the base. When current flows from the collector to the emitter, the current can be up to and almost a thousand times larger than the current applied to the base. When voltage is applied to the base of the transistor, no current flows through to the emitter until the base voltage reaches at least 0.6 volts. Above this voltage, the base emitter current rises sharply. Here we have a transistor being used as a light switch. In this circuit, the NPN transistor is used as a switch. The collector and the emitter are working as terminals of the switch. Exposure of the photodiode to light causes the base current to flow so that the transistor is switched on and the light bulb lights up. Therefore, the bulb can be switched on and off by varying the voltage supplied to the base. In this load characteristic curve of an N-channel JFET, we'll be taking a look at three different regions. Our first region is the saturation region. In the saturation region, the N-channel junction field effect transistor is on and the maximum current flows because of the gate source voltage. In this cutoff region, there will be no drain current flowing and thus the N-channel JFET is in the off condition. For the breakdown region, the breakdown region is where the drain source voltage increases too much for the channel to handle. At this point, the JFET loses its ability to resist current because too much voltage is applied across the drain source terminal. Well, that brings us to the end of the short video. If you've enjoyed that, please hit that like button. Thank you very much and goodbye.